The other big story breaking at five. Republican candidate for governor Ryan Kelly arrested by the FBI. And it involves his role in the January 6th siege on the Capitol. Kelly was arrested this morning during a raid at his home in Allendale, which is just west of Grand Rapids. He's currently one of five candidates on the GOP primary ballot. He was released by a judge today under his own power. Grant Herms is following that story for us tonight. Um, Grant, this comes almost a year and a half after the insurrection. It does almost to the day, 17 months, and we'll get to some of that timing in just a little bit, but it also comes just a few months before the August primary, which has already seen major shakeups on the Republican side. Now, in the past, Mr. Kelly has called for the arrest of the governor, the attorney general, and the secretary of state, but today he's the one accused of crimes facing 10 years in prison. Republican candidate for governor Ryan Kelly in court today after federal agents raided his home in Allendale and took him into custody. Kelly charged with four misdemeanors for his role in the January 6th insurrection. The FBI saying they got the tip from someone calling themselves Kate, who had seen Kelly in pictures online. In videos and images from inside court documents, Kelly can be seen standing on the steps of the Capitol at a top scaffolding, waving rioters to move toward the Capitol building. In another video, Kelly seen in the black hat holding up his phone as attackers begin assaulting Capitol Police. Kelly is charged with four misdemeanors, including knowingly entering or remaining in a restricted building or grounds without lawful authority, disorderly and disruptive conduct, knowingly engaging in an act of physical violence against property in a restricted building or grounds, and willfully injuring any property of the United States. According to recent polling, Kelly was the current leader in the GOP primary race with just 19% of the vote after five other candidates were eliminated last week. His arrest makes for the 15th Michigander arrested for their involvement in the January 6th attack. On Facebook, Ryan Kelly's campaign putting up this image of two words saying political prisoner. When asked for a comment about the arrest, the campaign simply replying no. And as for the timing, this arrest does come the same day as the January 6th committee hearings are set to start in prime time. It's something Republicans have cried foul about all day long. Just about an hour ago, the Michigan Republican Party chair Ron Weiser called the arrest shameful and accused Democrats of weaponizing the justice system. When I asked the FBI about the timing of this arrest, they couldn't give me specifics, but did point to a timeline of the January 6th investigation from the DOJ overall, which has spanned seven months and includes 840 arrests appearing to say that the timing of this Kimberly is just a coincidence back yeah. to you so, so Grant what happens with the Republican primary now I know the ballot deadline was last Friday and Kelly was supposed to be on that ballot as of right now, he's still on that ballot. I talked to the Secretary of State today, and she said they're looking at options, but really they're just waiting to see what happens. Now, under Michigan law, it is illegal for you to run for office if you have a felony on your record. But those ballots, because of that deadline, are getting sent out to military members overseas in the very near future. So very likely, Ryan Kelly will still be on those ballots yeah. when they go out. Okay. Yeah. yeah.